if you look really closely, you can see the full shark. Bunch of little tiny ghost shrimp. All right, who's helping me film this? Because we're doing it. Take it off. Go, bud. Go. Holy moly. What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. Today is the day we've all been waiting months and months and months for cutting open our baby bamboo shark out of its egg. I cannot wait. I like to give you guys a bunch of facts about this specific shark that we are unegging today. So let's put a couple facts in our brains and then after that, we're gonna get to cutting. I'm gonna scour the internet to find the most commonly asked questions about a bamboo shark. Where are bamboo sharks located? Bamboo sharks are distributed in the Indo West Pacific region, including off of India, Thailand along the East Coast, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Vietnam, China, Taiwan, Japan, and the Philippines. You can find them in a lot of places. Can you have a bamboo shark as a pet? The bamboo shark, also called a cat shark, is a very common pet for an aquarium hobbyist due to the fact that it only gets about 40 inches at full length. Just be prepared to have a 40 inch shark. You know, that, that you gotta have a big aquarium for something like that. This ain't even big enough for that thing at full grown, but I do have a friend who has a massive saltwater pond that that shark will be going into. Adult males reach sexual maturity at about 27 to 30 inches. The females mature at 25 inches. So the females are a little bit smaller than the males. How long can bamboo sharks live out of water? Now this says 12 inches hours out of water. Clearly what they mean by that. They often live in tide pools, which is very shallow water. You've seen me make tide pool videos before. They live in stuff like that. So they're able to tolerate lower oxygen levels tide pools longer than most sharks and most other fish. Now typically you'd find a bamboo sharks deeper in the ocean. They like to be in the depths and the darkness and that's where they hunt. How do you feed a bamboo shark? Now we're gonna actually be feeding the bamboo shark in this video or hopefully but what their diet does consist of is fresh shrimp, scallop, squid and marine fish flesh. One of their favorites of course is shrimp, the little ghost shrimp. Now this was more of a question for myself because I was curious how many eggs bamboo sharks actually have. So I looked it up and it said, uh, in an aquarium in Thailand, in one year, three females had laid 466 eggs. So these things lay some eggs. With an approximate 25 year lifespan, we could have this shark for the next 25 years. Who even knows where the world will be then? If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell so you're notified every time I upload. Let's get it. All the fish are literally out with the white light. That's a miracle. Look at them all. You can see the tangs picking at the rocks, but in front of the tangs is our shark egg. And I got this magnifying glass. If you look really closely, you can see the full shark. It's got no yolk. It's a little difficult to see on camera, but this is a great shot right here. There is no yolk whatsoever. This shark is ready to go, ready to be cut out. It should have been hatched like a couple days ago. I gave it a week or so after the yolk was gone, which is what you're supposed to do. And now I got a bowl, some scissors, brand new scissors so they're nice and sharp and they've never cut anything else besides this egg. We're gonna cut it open in the water and get our shark to swim out into his new beautiful tank right here. We've been waiting months for this moment right here and that is to cut the shark egg open. We believe it's a brown banded bamboo shark but we're not 100% sure what species it is. We got this egg a couple of months ago and we've been waiting to hatch it ever since. Now Tommy, the guy that helps keep this aquarium the way it is along with me, Came yesterday, cleaned the entire thing, just so we had a nice clean tank for this amazing video. We're gonna get this egg off of the clip here in just a second into this bowl. And this shark is gonna be the coolest thing to ever enter this tank, that's a fact. All right, who's helped me film this? Cause we're doing it. I have the actual lids to go on top of this tank. I just have yet to set them up cause they're a pain in the rear end. Take the temporary lid off. It's like we cut it open and it just doesn't even swim. It's just like a dead shark. <laughs> That'd be so bad. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're on top of the tank now. This is a first, we've never been up here. We're gonna take a little bit of water because we don't want this egg to come out of the water at all. So we'll keep it like this, take it off. Up and into the bowl. Off the clip. All right, so the goal is we don't want the egg to come out of the water. We also, this is the top that was clipped, right? So we wanna cut the bottom here, but we gotta make sure the shark is back and not gonna get cut by this. So we'll push the shark back a little bit. Cut it like that. And now what you do is you actually split the egg. All you're doing is helping the, egg, the shark come out. So we just split 
the egg like this. Go, bud. Go. Holy moly. He's beautiful. He's beautiful, dude. Look at me, I'm shaking. I'm shaking like a leaf. There's the egg. Wow. That's the egg. See it? This is literally him, like, just popping out of the egg. Now, some videos I've seen, they pop out and they squirm and they go nuts. This one literally popped out and he's just, like, vibing. But he's finally now, like, realizing that he can move his muscles. You know what I mean? Look how beautiful that shark is. I don't I don't even know. Look at, look at, look at. He does not know how to swim, dude. We just hatched our first shark ever on the channel and ever in my entire life. What do you think, Tay? Yeah. Yeah? Crazy that shark was literally in this egg right here. He was all wrapped up, ready to go. He's got his gills moving. Look at him breathing. He's realizing he's actually alive now. So do me a favor and grab the, under this. Tay, you might have to move that plastic. There is a, there's a cube. Look at that shark. He's finally starting to move right now, realizing that he has, yeah, fins and... It's kind of the size of this bowl, and he's gonna be in that until he realizes. So we got this little, uh, it's a baby fish net. When you breed fish, you put him in. Oh, he's moving. Oh my goodness. There he goes. He's like, oh my gosh, I can swim. I'm alive. Yeah. I really, really love the colors. Black and white like that is so cool. This is a little bit different of a video, that's for sure, than the normal. Usually, you know, it's jump hippity scotch, always moving. This is just, I'll film this shark just sitting here for five minutes straight, starting to swim now. Now he's really starting to move. He's not even really using his tail, he's using, oh, there he goes. The pharaohs, that's what we had hatching this entire time in this. That was in there. That's so crazy. They're building the net right now. We were, we were fully prepared for this baby. We really were. We had everything set, waiting on it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Like he's, he's really moving his gills now. That is so cool. Oh yeah! That's his first, look! That's so he's, cool. he's using his full body now. I'm keeping this shark egg forever. And there he is inside of the mesh. So we're gonna leave him in here for a little bit until he gets his feelings right, you know, starts using his, his fins and his Gets a little groove on it, and then he'll be good to go. I want to make sure he's eating too, which is big. You got to get him live ghost shrimp and feed him live ghost shrimp in there. So he'll probably stay in that mesh for a little bit. But we hatched the shark, Afaros. I want to see 50,000 likes, maybe even 100,000 likes. Would that be possible? Just smash the like button. He's inside of the mesh net right now. I'm going to get everything situated, and then I'll pick up the camera again. That's the shark egg right there. Yes, sir. Heck yeah, baby. He is clipped onto the back there and I turn the blue lights back on. Just let them kind of chill, relax. We've officially hatched our brown banded bamboo shark. What an absolute legendary moment. That is super cool. The first shark I've ever hatched. It went very well, actually. It took a little bit longer than I thought to get out of the egg, but that's because my splitting job wasn't as uh, fast as I thought. I was really shaky. I got nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I got really nervous. And then this is the clip that the shark hung on the entire two months that we had the egg, right there. And I'm actually gonna be giving it to one of you watching. All you gotta do to win the shark egg clip is subscribe down below, smash that like button, and then comment why you want the clip, how long you've been watching. Maybe go to my Instagram and DM me a reason why you want it. I'm gonna give this away, I think that'd be really cool. It actually happened, it's crazy, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm like lost for words right now, it's hard to record. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Bunch of little tiny ghost shrimp. This right here is exactly what a baby bamboo shark wants to eat. It's candy. These little bamboo sharks can be very picky. So with these live baits, we have a higher chance of it eating. Our whole goal is to get it to eat. We might not get it to eat this time, but at least we know this is exactly what he's gonna eat at some point. You buy these at the store for 50 cents a dozen, and uh, people feed all sorts of stuff with these. But today, we're feeding a shark. The little ghost shrimp are right in his face. He's got a couple ghost shrimp in here with him, not showing much interest in eating. They're in there, and when he's ready to eat, he'll eat. Update, it's been like five minutes. I actually turned the flash on now to get a little bit better of a view. What a beautiful, beautiful shark. Got a bunch of shrimp in there. We'll keep an eye on him. So it's currently like 11 o'clock at night. All the lights are off and I wanna keep it that way to make him most comfortable he possibly can be. There is eight ghost shrimp inside that cage with him. Hopefully by the morning, we have less than eight. If not, we're gonna to have to try to feed him with prongs, but hopefully there's less than eight. See you in the morning. The fish are like unbelievably fired up right now. They're just, 
having an absolute blast. The tank looks so amazing. This is definitely the best the tank has ever looked yet. And up in the corner, you could see our baby bamboo shark. Oh, uh, we gotta take this lid off. One sec. Oops. Look at how tiny he is. That is one of the coolest things, and if not, not gonna lie, this is probably my favorite video I've ever filmed yet on this channel. Like, we legit hatched this little guy ourselves. We waited months to do so. I do have to count the shrimp in here. I don't know how many shrimp there are. I gotta count. Because he may have eaten last night. Let me count. Did he eat? 100% he ate, dude. See that dead shrimp right there? He could very easily eat that when he's ready. There's a couple live ones. Another dead one right there, but that's one, two, three, four, five, six, right in his face. There's some shrimp right there. You can see like little pieces of it. But there's only six. I count six. Look how cool that shark is, man. Oh my goodness. We actually did it, Kafaros. We actually did it. I love how they walk. So we still got some shrimp in there. The shark itself looks fantastic. And of course, I will keep you guys updated as time goes on. Maybe even give them a chunk, a little, little tiny chunk of the fish flesh, which is, a, I'm gonna use a silver side. My main, main priority right now is to leave him in there. There's plenty of space because he doesn't move a lot anyway. I don't want, God forbid, one of these fish messing with him or something right now. He's still very small. He would have still been in that egg. I wanna keep an eye on him until he's eating and then I'm gonna release him into the tank itself. I think that's a smarter way to do it. Take things step by step. That way, we don't have anything catastrophic happen. That would not be good. We don't want a shark to die. This guy keeps picking up sand and spitting it all over my coral. But Kafaros, we literally hatched the shark egg. Finally, months and months of waiting. Subscribe down below so you don't miss any updates on this shark. I'll try to literally update it almost every video that I can. It looks so good. Hopefully you learned something about bamboo sharks. Check out the merch right there. Top link in the description. Lots of cool merch dropping on the site, paulcaferobrand.com. The shark and myself will see you right back here in the next one. We might have to make some bamboo shark merch. Oh, we definitely got to do that. Peace.